Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals, and JSA Radio, the voice for tech and telecom on iHeartRadio. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya of JSA. And here, standing at West 7th Center, the data center, first purpose-built data center of Los Angeles, uh, right here downtown LA with my good friend, Mr. Armand Khalili, the CEO and founder of Evocative. Armand, welcome to JSA TV. Hi, Jamie. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Uh, thanks for, for having us here in your beautiful facility. And we should also mention you are a, a, a true thought leader in the Colo field, a serial entrepreneur, uh, the founder of multiple network infrastructure companies such as Central Colo and United Layer, the largest privately held Colo provider in San Francisco, Sirius, one of the first ISPs in Silicon Valley, and Music Bank the very first music subscription company. So uh, amazing accomplishments there. You, uh, you're certainly uh, an established entrepreneur here in the Colo space. And so tell us, what led you to start Evocative? Uh, sure, I mean, you know what they say about serial entrepreneurs, right? That means they're, they're seriously not employable. <laughs> That's exactly what serial entrepreneurs mean. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've pretty much started my career um, you know, straight out of college, uh, started first ISP, and what next thing leads to another, and we become the largest independent ISP, and then I started, you know, secure email company, and after that, a music company, and a co-location company, and joined a private equity firm, and then after that, started a cola company, bought a DDoS mitigation company, sold it, and uh, during this whole period, you know, um, and I got married, and I had kids, so uh, thanks. That was that's by far probably best uh, you know accomplishment so far. And uh, stayed home for about a year, helping my wife with our firstborn, uh, Leon. And uh, after about a year, uh, it was time to go. <laughs> she kicked you out. <laughs> I, I'm not sure who kicked who out, but I I, I read the signals quite well, <laughs> and that's why I started evocative. <laughs> That's, yeah. the, that's, that's the truth, and, uh, <laughs> and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> uh, married to a serial entrepreneur. I get it. I totally understand. I'm like, retirement is what, six months now? When, what's next cooking in that mind of yours? So I know. It's, it. it's, the, it's, it's quite the, I'm not sure what's the technical word, but I think uh, doctors refer to that ADHD. Or yes. ADD, you know, it's <laughs> Very true. And for sure, evocative is a growth story. So tell us, what is behind Evocative's growth? What's driving that? Initially, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't 100% sure I wanted to kind of get back into the field because uh, obviously things have quite changed over the past two decades. And uh, did some research, spoke to a few friends in the industry, and um, came to the conclusion that what still is missing in the sector is that independent, service-oriented, and, and customer-focused provider mm -hmm. with key emphasis on the word service because we are in the services industry regardless of the product or services that you provide, whether it's colo, cloud, hosting, whatever it is, it's about service, it's about taking care of your client. With that premise in mind, Evocative got started. And uh, as a matter of fact, we are almost a year into it. We are 12 months into it. And uh, today we just made our fourth acquisition so we'll get to hear about it on Tuesday. Uh, we get the press releases out. So Evocative really is about the story of um, an independent service provider that is out there uh, taking care of his clients, uh, growing rapidly through both acquisition and organic growth with the core emphasis on customer first. Customer first, absolutely. And uh, definitely when you're driven by this, this customer-centric um, uh, core philosophy, it, it, it only leads to growth. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's critical, really. Um, so how long have you worked uh, with the West Sen 7 Center team, uh, as well as the, the rising realty partners who, who own the building? So we actually, it's funny enough, I, I used to co-locate in this building in year 2000. Very cool. So about 18 years ago. So we had known about 1200 West 7th and, uh, for, for a long time. And uh, after Rising bought this real estate, um, you know, we, we knew um, some, of the f uh, some of the key um, C-level people. Mm -hmm. And we started dialogue and we really liked 
what we were hearing about what the plan for the building was, specifically what the plan for the data center section, uh, section is, and uh, what Rising was, wanted to do with the site. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it was more first philosophically and culturally we were aligned, and when the opportunity presented itself, uh, we, we certainly were very excited to partner with Rising to do this. Unbelievable. And so tell us about your overall data center solution here at Evocative. So we, um, we have facilities in Emeryville, California, San Jose, Los Angeles, LA1 and LA2, um, and we just opened up Reston in January, uh, Virginia, and the acquisition, which I cannot talk about, we just acquired Cyberverse, oh. that is a LA-based company with facilities at 600 West 7th. So you're breaking news here on JSA TV. It's this is here. breaking news. That's right. It's, con it's It will be live on Tuesday. So we'll make sure it gets posted <laughs> after Tuesday. <laughs> so um, we just made that acquisition. Now with Cyberverse, we have facilities, additional facilities in LA and also in Phoenix and Plano, Texas. Uh -huh. So we've got a national footprint now. Uh, we've got a world-class roster of uh, Fortune, you know, 500s. Also, um, you know, couple of guys in a garage so you know we've, we've we are an entrepreneur we started the company my first ISP was in a garage so we have a personal um, f affection towards startups but uh, that doesn't mean you know we, we treat all customers regardless of their size uh, equally so Silicon Valley of you <laughs> starting it up in the garage you know <laughs> well, yeah, the rent was cheap <laughs> So um, you chose West 7 specifically. You knew the rising uh, management team. You were into their philosophies on how they're going to, to build um, a better uh, building, uh, taking already the existing assets and, and uh, enhancing them further. And, um, and so you, this is a, sort of the evocative home, if you will, yes. uh, particularly in the LA area. Yeah, this is our you know, flagship service product line um, in LA. 1200 West 7th, uh, you know, or West 7th, is, is the premier data center in, in Southern California. Um, just the sheer size of it, uh, the mechanical, the electrical infrastructure is second to nine. It is uh, by far a top 10 building from a just pure infrastructure perspective. Uh, of, of course, having a major presence in LA, LA is still considered a very large metro from an edge computing perspective. So you got almost 14 million residents. So um, you know, regardless of what transpires with mega data centers that are happening in cheaper sites outside of California because of you know cost of uh, power, electricity, and, and real estate, what have you, the need for edge computing still resides. And this is by far, arguably, this is you know, I mean, obviously, I'm slightly biased, but this is the best data center from an infrastructure perspective, and uh, it it's rivals that of of some of the um, major carrier hotels and and uh, you know disaster recovery sites. We're sitting, uh, I believe, what is it like 30, 40 feet under the ground? So it's three levels of basement, all of it underground. The, uh, the building had spent over 30 plus million dollars building out its electrical and mechanical infrastructure. It's all on an M plus one basis, true M plus one, if you know what I mean, for the technically inclined ones. Uh, it's got multiple. Uh, grids coming into it, uh, multiple power feeds. It's got multiple generator, N plus one on generator. We are N plus one on the UPS, uh, N plus two on the cracks uh, in this case. So it, it really is a mission critical facility. Love that, love that. And um, one last question, which I like to throw to my CEOs who are here in the hot seat, if you will, uh, on JSA TV. Um, looking into your crystal ball, where do you see Evocative heading in the next 12 to 24 months? Um, obviously, you know, further expansion in terms of both organic growth and acquisition, uh, we're looking for international expansion and also increasing our product line. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, we kind of view of having a flagship facility within a, what we call a five to 10, mi uh, five to 10 millisecond radius of large metro sites. So we've got Silicon Valley covered, LA, we have Virginia now, we have Phoenix, we have Texas. So additional sites such as Chicago, New York area, and uh, of course internationally. So we're looking for opportunistic expansion with the core emphasis of uh, being customer focused. Wonderful. Quite simple. And your URL, evocative.com. Evocative.com. 
Awesome. Well, thank you so much for, for being here and for being so generous with your time and insight. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV. Happy networking. Thank you.